In our rapidly evolving world, systems are all around us. From the machines we use daily to the processes that make businesses tick, systems are the backbone of modern society. But have you ever wondered how these systems work, how they can be improved, or how they are designed in the first place? That's where system analysis comes into play. In this video, we will discuss system analysis in simple terms so that everyone can grasp its importance and concepts. So, what is system analysis? At its core, system analysis is like dissecting a puzzle to understand how each piece fits together. It's the process of examining a system, be it a computer program, a manufacturing process, or even a traffic management system, to comprehend its inner workings and identify areas where improvements can be made. Let's discuss key concepts of system analysis. Components. Every system is made up of parts or components. Think of a computer system. It has hardware like the CPU and memory, and software like the operating system and applications. System analysis involves breaking down these components to understand their roles and interactions. Input and output. In any system, something goes in and something comes out. For example, in a coffee making system, water and coffee grounds go in, and coffee comes out. System analysis helps us understand what goes in, what comes out, and what happens in between. Processes Systems often involve a series of steps or processes. In a restaurant, the process includes taking orders, preparing food, and serving customers. System analysis looks at these processes to see if they are efficient and effective. Feedback loops. Many systems have feedback loops, where the output affects the input. In a thermostat, for instance, when the room gets too hot, it turns off the heat. System analysis helps us identify and optimize these feedback mechanisms. Why is system analysis important? System analysis might seem like something only engineers and tech experts do, but it's relevant to everyone because it improves the way things work. Here's why it's essential. Number one, efficiency. By dissecting a system, we can identify bottlenecks, redundancies, and inefficiencies. This allows us to streamline processes and make things work faster and smoother. Two, cost reduction. When systems are optimized, they often require fewer resources, which can lead to cost savings. Businesses can reduce expenses and offer better products or services to customers. Number 3. Quality Improvement Understanding a system's components and processes enables us to enhance the quality of its output. For instance, in software development, system analysis can help identify and fix bugs, resulting in more reliable software. 4. Innovation System analysis encourages creative thinking. By understanding how something works, we can find new ways to improve it or create entirely new systems. 5. Problem solving. When things go wrong, system analysis helps pinpoint the root causes of problems. This makes troubleshooting and finding solutions more effective. Let's move on to the steps in system analysis. Step 1. Identify the system. Determine what system you want to analyze. It could be a business process, a software application, or any other system you're interested in. Step 2. Gather data. Collect information about the system, including its components, inputs, outputs, and processes. Interviews, observations, and documentation review are common data gathering methods. Step 3. Model the system. Create diagrams or flowcharts to visually represent the system's components and processes. This helps you get a clear picture of how everything fits together. Step 4. Analyze and identify issues. Examine the data and models to identify any problems, inefficiencies, or areas for improvement. Step 5. Propose solutions. Once issues are identified, brainstorm and propose solutions to address them. Consider how changes in one part of the system might affect other parts. Step 6. Implement changes. Put your proposed solutions into action. 
This could involve reorganizing processes, updating software, or making other necessary adjustments. The last step is test and monitor. After implementing changes, test the system to ensure improvements have been achieved. Monitor the system over time to make sure it continues to perform optimally. Conclusion System analysis is not just for tech-savvy individuals or businesses. It's a practical approach to understanding and improving any system in our daily lives. Whether you're trying to make your morning coffee routine more efficient or streamline a complex business process, system analysis is a valuable tool. So, the next time you encounter a problem or want to enhance a system, remember the power of system analysis, breaking it down to build it up better. If you want to read in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. Like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.